are new calls for change in the nation's capital. The families of Virginia Beach's 2019 mass shooting are renewing their pleas for financial and emotional support. Alex Littlehales has details behind the closed door meetings in Washington, D.C. In Capitol Hill, surviving family members of the Virginia Beach mass shooting victims again are calling for help. We're trying to send the presidents for the United States, the whole nation, because all these families are being left shattered. The families of some of the 12 victims of the 2019 Municipal Center mass shooting are now leaning on congressional support in their request for $40 million from the Virginia state budget. This February, the families represented by former Lieutenant Governor Justin Fairfax lobbied in person at the state capitol in Richmond, claiming the money is both for financial and emotional support. 25 million to go to the victims' families and the remainder for the employees in the building that day. It's support they argue they haven't seen from the city of Virginia Beach. 15 million of that going to the co workers that have mental health issues, that have broken families. Jason Nixon, father of three and husband of Catherine Nixon, has helped lead this effort and says years later the families still feel broken and shattered. And their attorney, Fairfax, hopes these congressional meetings put an added spotlight on Virginia lawmakers to make this request a reality. But the reason that we are focused right now on the General Assembly. Uh, is because, of course, it is a part-time legislature. Last year, Virginia Governor Glenn Youngkin separately introduced a proposed budget amendment which directed $10 million towards the creation of a mass violence care fund for the Commonwealth. In Norfolk, I'm Alex Little-Hales for 13 News Now. We're told newly elected Congresswoman Jen Kiggins, whose congressional district includes Virginia Beach, was one of the handful of meetings today with this group.